Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. I'm okay. I'm tired, but I'm okay. And um, I'm, I'm tired in multiple ways. This The problem with this stupid virus, this Epstein-Barr, is that um, it really takes a toll on me mentally. Uh, which is how I make a living, right? I make a living with my brain. I'm not. I'm not a laborer. Not that I'm opposed to being a laborer. In fact, some of my favorite jobs I've ever had were as a laborer. Um, but just because it is what I what I enjoy the most is thinking, and it's really difficult right now. I'm having. I'm struggling really hard on both my day job and my side job um, to to keep up. I have a lot of meetings today, which is a good thing because it gives me a break from really kind of um, focusing. <laughs> you know, I can sit in a meeting and I can give my spiel and I can listen to other people and I don't really have to put a lot of a lot of effort into um, thinking about what's being said. I can save that part for later. So that's a good thing. But man, uh, yesterday I play tested a game. Um, I, I don't, hopefully it's a game in the not too distant future. I'll tell you all about not one of my games. Um, it's a game that I mentioned here on the show before. Uh, and, um, it, it needed, it needed some outside, it needed an outside perspective. <laughs> so I play tested it, uh, yesterday t twice and, uh, it's a cooperative game and I got murdered. Like just, just felt terrible. And the funny thing was, I, sh I mean, I really shouldn't have, right? It, it's a game where, kind of an action selection type of game where you decide, all right, I'm going to go explore, or I'm going to go attack, or I'm going to go, you know, pay homage, or whatever. Um, and <laughs> you kind of get dropped into a couple of locations. It's a scenario-based game. You get dropped into a couple locations, there's only a few things you can do there, and then you have to kind of move on. Uh, and and very quickly, I ran up against, I, I you, you do an action, and then at the end of that action, you have the option of doing more if you have resources to do more, right? And I saw that, like, first turn. I saw that I needed that resource. Then, uh, second turn, I saw it again. And it still never crossed my mind that I need to go get that resource. Like, if I'd have had it, if I'd have spent some actions going and gathering that resource, I think that I could have won the game. Played twice, never farmed it, never went looking for it. And I, and I think that's just a matter of, it's one of those... It's one of those cooperative games where uh, there's so much to do that it's really hard to see the best path. And I think that works really well when you're playing with multiple people because it doesn't, it really doesn't mean that I can tell you what to do or I know what's best because there's, I don't know, you do something, I do something, right? But uh, in this particular instance, I just couldn't even see that I needed to, to gather, it didn't, the scenario as presented was like, you just need to go punch people and do the thing, right? And I never really thought about gathering resources and putting a lot of energy into that because the places, the locations that we visited didn't need that resource. They needed other th things. And so it was only the, the story elements that needed that specific resource. Uh, and I just, I just botched it. I mean, I really screwed it all up. The good news is, I think the game is great. I played it and then immediately played it like I needed to play it, right? Um, I'm, uh, I enjoyed it both plays, but um, it needs a lot of, it needs work. <laughs> it's the only way I know how to put it. Uh, it. It is a very mechanically solid game. Very, very fun, interesting choices. Um, but it needs, it needs a lot of touch up. Uh, you know, it's in it's it's a late stage. It's a late stage prototype. It just needs polish, and and it needs a significant amount of polish. 
but I, that was the feedback that I that that you know that I was asked to provide. Does is it okay? In my opinion, no. In my opinion, it needs a lot. Uh, the game itself is great. Uh, it's all the ancillary stuff that just needs a lot of work. <sighs> anyway, all that is to say, I think that if I wasn't so freaking tired right now, uh, I would have done a lot better. Um, but I didn't. And I, and I can only blame exhaustion, but that's also feels like I'm fetching for an excuse. I I feel like I'm using exhaustion as an excuse for everything right now. And it, it it's it, it's breaking me, right? Like I, I'm so used to being uh what's the word? Uh virulent, virulent. I'm so used to being capable of acting when I want to, that when I can't, it's it's just man, it just feels so depressing. It just feels so ugh. Hopefully this will be over very soon, and we'll be back to a normal, lively chipper Chevy. Don't know that today had a point. A point. Just thanks for being here, as always. Thank you for, for being wonderful listeners, uh, even though uh, you're, not, you're not actively here. You guys make it uh, make it fun for me. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is Odal. It is a noun meaning absolute ownership of a property that is beyond dispute and can never be revoked. Among the Norse, land allotted to a warrior at the time of conquest became Odal after his family had held it for three generations. Odal, O-D-A-L. That's a fun word. Is that a Norse word? Um, never heard that before.